and it was $60 off. And I was like, <laughs> you're coming home with me. I can't believe I didn't know about this. Okay, you guys, the time has come. I just opened them. This is the best I've ever made. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. We are starting this vlog out in the car. I've got Mr. Plute here. Hi, Mr. Plute. Bruni and I decided to <laughs> ride with Yara this morning because he had to go to the doctor just to get his blood drawn. Um, so we, <laughs> we came with him. Uh, Yara and I are just gonna grab like a quick breakfast after. And then after that, I've got to go to Tesla when Yara logs into work and I'm gonna take the car in because it says tire pressure monitoring system fault. I guess one of the tire pressure monitors isn't working. It hasn't been working for like a week. I was kind of hoping it would just fix itself, <laughs> but it has not. So gonna bring that in. I'm going to a different Tesla today. Um, and I don't know why it makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm going to a different one. So hopefully it's uh, smooth sailing. I don't know why I get like nervous going to the car place, let alone like a new car place. I'm like, hey, don't try to swindle me, all right? I don't know much about this car, but don't swindle me. <laughs> okay, guys, I have like the funniest story about this jacket. <laughs> so, remember how I found the Amazon dupe for the Free People quilted jackets? Because like the Free People ones are expensive <laughs> as I'm wearing it. You guys, I was so excited. This weekend, we took Yara's grandma out for her birthday. We went to the mall and out to lunch. It was super nice, really fun. Um, but we were just putzing around Macy's because she wanted to go to Macy's. And all of a sudden, I see a free people section. And I don't ever really like think to shop at Macy's. I just, I feel like they never have a great plus size selection in store. Like I'll shop there online sometimes. So I'm kind of just putzing around. Um, and I see these jackets and I'm just like, oh, super cute quilted jackets and then they have one xl this one and it's got like a special tag on it because it doesn't have the original tag it's probably like a return or something and it was 60 dollars off and i was like <laughs> i know it was still a little bit pricey of course but like i'm so in love with the pattern i'll have to show you guys better when i'm like standing up but it is so freaking cute it is so freaking cute. I was so excited when I found it on sale or on clearance or whatever. I don't know. Just discounted. It was so exciting. So that was like a little highlight of the weekend. But we've got our quilted jackets stocked up for spring, which is so exciting because I just think it's the perfect jacket. Because it's going to be like 50 today. So it's that perfect middle weather jacket. It's light, but still a little something. Yeah, overall, we had a really nice weekend with... Um, Yar's family, we went to lunch on the water at this really cute restaurant that we've never been to before. And they had the cutest little walkable area. I definitely wanna take you guys back there another time um, with like Yar and my mom and I can vlog it cause it was so freaking cute. If you haven't been to, we went to, Wick, it was called Wickford on the water in Rhode Island. I guess maybe in Wickford, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know where it was. Um, it wasn't too, too far from us, but it was just like such a cute walkable area. They had so many little like shops and restaurants and it was just like a vibey little main street. And the restaurant was kind of like just small and cozy on the water, but like beautifully decorated. The food was delicious. Uh, so we just, yeah, we had a really good time with that. Today is just pretty much gonna be getting, getting stuff done. You know, blood draw, <laughs> Tesla. I have editing to do though, which is good. So I'll bring my computer while they're working on the car. Oh, here comes Yar. Hopefully he has better veins than I do. I have the worst veins. It's awful every time. We are twins. We have the same prescription and we have, both have crappy veins. Yeah, like apparently she was saying that like my veins move as they- Oh, they move? Yeah, like as they try to find it. So it's like they had to difficult. Go on your hand. So they had to go in my hand. I've never had this done before. That happened to me last time. I hate that. Yeah. Isn't it the it worst? It feels different. It hurts more. So weird, yep. Yeah, well you did it. Yeah. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Yay for crappy veins. His squiggle and mine are small. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, if you can see it, we are at Joanne Fabrics. So the good thing is Yar doesn't have any work calls. So he's actually going to go into Tesla and do work while they work on the car. Um, he wants to like, he wants to show them something else. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to properly explain it. So he's going to go. Um, so I'm back in the Hyundai. I haven't driven the Tucson in a minute. I do love this car too. Um, but I've just been taking the Tesla all the time. So we are at Joanne Fabrics because I posted my vlog this morning when we went to Michael's and Walmart on the hunt for like big bunnies. And there was a Joanne's next to the Michael's and I wasn't sure if I should go because I just like, I've been there with my grandma before but like a long time ago and I just don't remember what they had. I remember going there to buy fabric with her to like make costumes or something. Um, but apparently they have a lot of cute home decor and spring accessories and stuff you guys said. So I'm gonna go in because I still really want big Easter bunnies for the porch. I also really need to get something to weigh down the faux hydrangeas that I have in those planters, the tall planters, because it's been really windy and they keep falling over. So I need like weight in them. So I don't know, hopefully they'll have like a bag of rocks here or I can go, <laughs> go get them somewhere else. But uh, yeah, let's go see what Joann's has. Here we go. Oh, we've got some 50% off faux florals. Oh, little planters. I feel like I'm gonna need a cart. I don't know, maybe. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, um, oh, you guys. Oh my God. I love these. How much are these? 50. Gosh, that feels like a lot. I don't know. But I do think like one on each side of the porch would be so cute. Oh my God, you guys were not kidding. Look at this. Look at him laying down. Oh my God. This is like literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. $70 though. Whew, Lord. Okay, everything is really, really adorable. Hoppy Easter. Oh, these are cute. Little yard stakes. Those could be fun to plop in the ground. $30. Oh wait, are these... Is this pop? No, I don't know. Something's 50% off. Wait, place and time, Easter decor. Oh my God, you guys, 50% off. If those are part of the 50% off, I'm gonna have to get them because that's not bad. Is it part of pop? Place and time, it's 50% off. I'm gonna cry. I love you guys. Thank you for sending me here. You're coming home with me. So with 50% off, these will both be 50 bucks which is really good. And then I can put them out every year. Oh my gosh, I love these. Since it's 50% off, I'm also just like, I don't know. A lot of this stuff is really, really darn cute. Like this carrot. I would literally just put this up as a wreath. I also love these giant eggs. You guys really do kind of want me to do a grown up Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I'm so tempted. Like, I am so tempted. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the other stuff and see. Oh my God, wait, this is, oh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, why am I in love with that? I mean, all this is 50% off, which is incredible. Every bunny, welcome, that's adorable. And then I was also looking at these. Look at this. Are you kidding? Oh my God. So this would only be $15, that's a steal. And this little jar. Egg holder. Oh, these felt, oh my God. Guys, I am so grateful you guys told me to come here. I am shook. The little felt wreath. Oh my God, guys. I'm so excited right now. Everything is making my heart very happy. This little carrot garland. Probably could have got my little plates and stuff here. I got them at Walmart though, but they're 50% off now. And like this towel, they're embroidered. So cute. I think I'm gonna get this garland. Um, it actually matches our living room <laughs> really well. And then put this up every year for Easter, like on the fireplace. So I think that's a really, really cute. Okay, I am obsessed with this store. This is like, it's just, it's giving Michaels, but kind of even better. They're definitely gonna have stuff here to do my like DIY wreath if I want to with the lemons. And they have a lot of stuff on sale. Michael's usually does too, but like this is pretty good, you guys. They have so much greenery and wreaths. Oh, I see more bunnies. I'm becoming a woman that likes chickens. <laughs> I think they're really, really cute for decor, honestly. I don't know why. I'm getting kind of uh, countrified in my older age. Oh my gosh, so teeny. I actually think they have even more floral options here than at Michael's. And like, look at this. These are like stunning. These would look so good in the urinal vase. <laughs> yeah, the next time I need like florals or stems for that vase, like they have so many interesting ones here and different options. I can't believe I didn't know about this. 
There is so much to look at. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm just doing like a quick little lap around to see everything else just so I can know. I don't need anything else, but like, just wanna know what else they have for the future. You guys, how cute is the garland? We have a lot of like green and orange in here, so I just think it's like perfect. So my little Easter decor in here is the garland. And then I, I remember I got this at that little country store. This cute little like vintage bunny pillow. Are you eating your dental chew? You are such a good boy. I love when you use your hands. You're like a little person. Okay, you guys, I put the rocks in here. So it's a lot more firm. Oh, I did get rocks, by the way. So I've got my faux hydrangeas and planters from Amazon. I'll link them again. And then bunny. And then over here the carrot and the other faux hydrangea so cute and this wreath it just makes my heart happy i had to get it on sale um so i just think it looks so perfect all together all right you guys i had to just do a quick little clip to show you the coat i just think it is so freaking cute like the pattern it just looks like a quilted blanket and then it has this neckline but sometimes i'll like flip it over and then it doesn't have buttons, it has these little clips here. Only three of them. And then I just went ahead and cuffed the sleeve with one roll. And I just love it. I think it is so springy and cute. So yeah, that's the jacket. Your dad is on the way home. And guess what? He got a sweet green for lunch. Sweet green, yummy. I've got my lunch and my lunch watcher. <laughs> Love the Harvest Bowl from Sweet Green. If you want a good salad, this is so freaking delicious. And I am going to watch the next 90 Day Fiance Tell All. I think this is the last episode, which is so crazy. I'm going to miss it. I think they're starting a happily ever after next week, though. Still loving the garland, but I'm so excited to eat my salad. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that they sent me these. I saw them on Instagram, and they came out with like... Easter spring flavors, tropical eggs, these are sour. And then these are berry bunnies. And then look at these cute little stickers. So we'll definitely try these later after dinner. I am actually gonna start dinner now because it's four o'clock, I was doing some editing and I'm gonna make some sancocho tonight. Some Dominican, kind of like a stew. You standing out there on the stairs? Go ahead, Papa. It's so nice out. It's a very nice afternoon. Oh my gosh, it feels so good outside. It's like 55, 60. I can't wait. I can't wait for the warm weather. Go ahead, Baba. Go, go, go. Ready, go. <laughs> okay, so I completely forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer. So I am using the defrost button on our microwave. But I'm going to do chicken and steak for the meat. Got some flank steak here. So I'm going to cut both of them up and then season it let it marinate for a little bit um, with lime juice, ooh, garlic, oregano, and salt. Um, I'm gonna do corn, plantains. They did not have yuca. I was so sad because I love yuca. I'm kind of just, just doing the best I can here. Serve it with some avocado. Um, and I haven't taken out my other seasonings yet. Don't judge me, this is not perfect. Um, but I'm excited to use my new cutting board. Uh, my cutting boards are so gross. You guys have seen them, I've had them for years. So I grabbed this like acrylic cutting board here that kind of goes over the lip of the counter. And I've had these from when we put them on our cabinets so they don't slam against like the wall. Um, and I saved them, so I just put a couple of them in these corners so it doesn't slip around and yeah it's super super cute it was really affordable i'll link it below but i'm gonna test it out see how it is i always see people using them and i just think i don't know they look nice it's and it's like a good size and you can always leave it on the counter too if you want see-through all right i've been letting the meat marinate i'm gonna cook up all the meat and brown it first then we basically add in the water seasoning mix more seasoning i've got everything cut up here normally a lot more goes in but this is what we have Okay, so I let the meat stew for a while, then I added everything else in. Now I'm gonna let this simmer for a bit, let everything in there cook for about 20 minutes, and then we'll be good to go. Hopefully it's good. It'll never be as good as his grandma's. Okay, you guys, the time has come. I just opened them. We're gonna try the berry bunnies tonight. We already had dinner. It actually came out pretty darn good. Not perfect, but good. I'll get, I'll get there. Um, and we watched another episode of Money Heist. <sighs> show is so good 
and I'm definitely picking up some new Spanish from it. So, all right, let's give these a try. They smell very berry. They're so cute, these little bunnies. All right, cheers. Okay, yep, Smart Sweets, you did it again. I cannot wait to try the sour ones. I'm not in a sour mood right now, but mm, these are fire. And I just saw today on Instagram, they dropped a Barbie collab, like a pink lemonade. So we'd have to try those too. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I have this tech support call on mute because I'm on hold. <laughs> I just wanted to say good morning. Um, it's the next day. I'm making a little, I made a little green smoothie. This is the best I've ever made. I've been making it almost every day. Mm. Is he back? Nope. <laughs> Thank God for mute on phone calls. Oh yeah. No rush, thank you. They're still working on it, okay. <laughs> so in this smoothie, we have half of a frozen banana. And then I swear, I've said this before, I use frozen fruit all the time, but I swear when I do, I just woke up by the way, so this is where we're at. When I do fresh fruit, it tastes like just a little bit better, a little bit better. And then I did about five fresh strawberries. Frozen banana is not like enough to really make it a smoothie, so I do a little bit of ice. Chocolate core power protein shake, about a half of a bottle. Um, and then a little bit of peanut butter and then a big handful of spinach because you can't taste it. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely phenomenal. Definitely give it a try. So I'm just taking care of this call. It's like, you know, when you have to call for something <laughs> and it's just like, you're just, I don't know, you've just been putting it off. So I'm just taking care of this tech support thing I've needed to do for a while. So hopefully it will get taken care of because I'm always just afraid it's like, I'm always just afraid it's like not gonna get fixed. It's only been about 20 minutes, it's not that bad. I think, I think, I think we're gonna get it fixed. So this morning on the agenda, I'm gonna head to the gym. Uh, I'm gonna head to the grocery store. I just need to pick up like a few things that we're out of. Uh, bananas, oranges, uh, frozen fruit for smoothies because we're getting low. I also need to run to the liquor store um, because we're having a get together this weekend and I wanted to get a couple like bottles of stuff for gifts for people. Yes, hello, hi. Oh. All right, I just changed into my gym clothes, my favorite Beyond Yoga workout tanks. Forever my fave. I've got like four colors. And it's pretty much all I wear to the gym at this point, but I'm going to do my skincare. I used to do it just when I'd get back from the gym, but now I've just been doing it twice. But I've been really loving the Effaclair from La Roche-Posay. My skin will probably love it for a month. And then it won't. I just like the way it smells because it kind of smells like a pool. Not really like chlorine or anything, but it just, I don't know, it smells like vacation to me. I don't, I don't know why. I also feel like it's kind of that time of year now where transitioning from winter to spring, like my skin feels a little like, I don't know, it's like dry, but still oily. I think just the temperature change, but this moisturizer is so nice. I'll link all this again. This feels so cooling when you put it on. Perfect for combination oily skin. Cause like it gives you hydration, but it doesn't feel greasy. It actually dries down, leaves your skin very soft and smooth. All right, let's go do our workout and run a couple of errands. Okay, I just came back from a walk with the dogs. It's so beautiful, had to get outside. And I just rinsed the grapes that I picked up and they just look perfect. You know when grapes look like they're just perfect. They're gonna be so good. Oh, I hope they're gonna be good. Okay, I'm going to eat some of these. 
but I actually have to edit this vlog. We are caught up on vlogs. Um, I'm just gonna go up tomorrow. New episode of Love is Blind tonight. Who is watching the reunion? Let me know. I don't know how long this vlog was. If it's not super long, I'll make sure the next one will be longer. But thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.